survival turf war here with the ducks and the geese. <laughs> yes, I never knew ducks could eat bananas. Thank you, Internet. Here you go, guys. You know, it's fun coming to North Georgia mountains, isn't it? I think that's the thing I love about the mountains is just being out in nature. This is so fun. Yeah. So it'll be fun wherever we land to be able to do stuff like this. I'm Marcy. I'm Terry. And we're looking for our dream home in the North Georgia mountains. We want to get a property that we can generate some revenue. Right. Right. Maybe multiple properties or houses on one site, maybe, or something that we can fix up and make or add on or build to. Right. Right. Going on house tours, I feel like sounds very boring, but for me, I really enjoy it because I get some sort of say in the decision-making process before I have to live in the house, which is nice. There you go. Throw one way out there so that, they, yeah, I'm gonna see a fight. <laughs> You're terrible. The North Georgia mountains are well known as a peaceful getaway from the hustle and bustle of Atlanta. People from all over venture to the mountain towns sprinkled along the Chattahoochee River and Blue Ridge Mountain Range. With an abundance of recreational activities, this is an outdoor lover's paradise. Not to mention an easy way to beat Georgia's hot temperatures. Do you need to cool off? Why not head to the Bavarian themed town of Helen where you can tube down the river. Afterwards, enjoy an ice cold beer in the town's beer garden. Sounds like a perfect day if you ask me. Home buyers Terry and Marcy have navigated the highs and lows of big city living for years. They've worked hard, taken big risks, and invested in their future to escape the urban crowds. And now is the time to make their country dreams a reality. Their kids are getting older and they want to spend as much time with them as possible. Moving to the countryside and cutting out their two hour daily commute would be life changing for the whole family. Now, in addition to freeing up time, Marcy and Terry have another big dream they're willing to take a risk on. They hope to find a property that works for their family and doubles as a business for events and guests. They envision this next chapter of their life, hosting large family gatherings, retreats, and weddings on their future property. Now, Terry has worked in real estate for 20 years. He is a seasoned professional, but even he knows he has his work cut out for him. Properties in the North Georgia mountains are typically on the market for only 23 days. And with properties selling quickly in the area, Terry and Marcy will need to be decisive in their search and move quickly. Where are we going? You told me to drive this way, so here we go. So, man, you're driving really fast for not knowing where you're going. Don't mean to criticize your driving, of course, but... Hmm. A little bit of a windy road here. Yeah. Definitely secluded, which is lovely. I can't wait to hear the quiet. That's my favorite sound. This place, it's uh, four bedrooms, five and a half baths. What's the list price? Uh, so list price is 1.395 million, so 1.4 million basically. It's eight acres. Okay. So you got some land. It has a, an airplane hangar, which is kind of fun. Oh, that is amazing. That's very. And there's cool. like there's like a private airfield, like airstrip. So if you're gonna maybe turn it into something else, people can fly in, park their plane. There aren't there aren't that many places that you can offer that. That is true. In terms of budget. We'd like to stay between one and three million dollars. What I'm finding is it's hard to find what you want to do the things that we want to do um, at a million. We're looking to have a place that we can relax and exhale and that it can also generate income to help us offset the expenses. We've kind of joked that we want more of a spa lodge, if that's even a thing. Maybe small weddings, retreats for people. We love spending time together as a family, and we just want to create a space where other people have that same opportunity. All right, this is it. This, this is, is it. it. Right here. Let's check it out. Oh, look at the waterfall. Oh, there's a seating area too. That's oh, fun that's for friends. Nice. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Cool place. I could hang there with coffee yeah. in the morning. <laughs> oh, there's a root cellar over there. That's really cool. Cool. Oh, I like yeah. that. 
That is dark in there. Yeah. That's where your mom can stay when she comes to visit. Totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. She'll be very happy about that. Yeah. I like all the trees. The green is really pretty. Yeah, the green's awesome. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. This wow. is cool. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Look at this view. This is very nice. I would like bigger windows. Yeah. But I could handle washing dishes here. Yeah. It would be way less painful. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. It's like a barn door. I have an idea. What if I can close this and that way this is just all mine? Hmm. It's an idea. I think it should come to fruition, though. I, I mean, we'll workshop it. But you could put a tree in here, a nice Christmas tree or something. Yeah. How big of a tree do you think we could get in here? I mean, growing up, we had vaulted ceilings like this. Huh. And so we would put 15-foot trees. And if they were too big, we just tied them to the walls so that it didn't fall over. Oh, it was wow. amazing. In fact, I think one of the pictures I have when Dad and I first started dating is in front of one of those trees. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. We actually were born in the same town, but didn't end up meeting until many, many, many years later. He was my sibling's middle school band director. In middle school band concerts, you've got a lot of 35 to 50 year old moms coming and grandmas. So when the cute girl showed up, I was like, who's the cute girl coming to all the band concerts? We got married after dating for three years. And now we have two kids, Colin and Caitlin. Colin is 19 and Caitlin is 16. Hey, they've got a grand piano over here. That's very cool. Check this out. Baby grand? It's nice. We'll hear a little tune there, okay? Sure. Do you remember we used to have a, a grand piano in our house? Yeah, so you were like a year old and you'd sit next to me and you'd play with me, but uh, we had to sell it, remember? We oh, sold yes. it when the market crashed. And it was the thing that allowed us to keep our house. That was tough times. Those were tough times. We yeah. got through it though. We did, yeah. we did. Yep. Maybe this one can come with the house. Maybe, hmm. that'd be nice. That would be great. <laughs> when we first were married, we were both school teachers. And when I got pregnant with our first child, we decided that I would stay home. And so he got into real estate to help fund that. Never sold less than 40 houses a year. Most of the time we were selling 80 or 90. It was a good life. And then the market crashed in September of 2008 and everything changed. It was really hard. So coming out of that, we had a new mindset and worked really hard. I supported Terry and everything that he was doing. I was taking care of the kids at home. But we had to figure out how to keep our own house. Then as our kids grew older and business started picking up, people were now ready to buy houses. The biggest problem was I had no time freedom at all. And so it was nights and weekends working 60, 70 hours a week. And so that tension uh, led me to show a house on a Saturday morning. Colin had a soccer game. And I felt like, oh, I'll just miss one soccer game, not a big deal. A lot of dads do it, right? They go, they sacrifice for their families. And so uh, Marcy texted me and said that Colin just scored his first soccer goal. And I was devastated. It, uh, man, it hit me. And so I said, never again. I'm not doing that anymore. And so we shifted and I said, there's gotta be a better way. And so I started the path to figure out how to invest in real estate, how to flip houses, how to provide for my family in a different way in real estate, um, and just jumped in. Oh, I think this is the master. Look at that huh. view. Ooh. Oh, look Ooh. at this vanity. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> that, nice. okay, this is gorgeous. Oh. I have not, oh, and the shower. Oh, beam me up, Scotty. Yes. Check it out. This thing looks like it's ready to lift off. I'm kind of afraid where these jets might hit me, to be honest. That's incredible. That is a cool shower. You guys good? We've seen this place. Yes. But I don't know if that's going to accomplish the mission of having extra spaces for people to come and have investment income and stuff like that. But I'm really excited to see the hangar. Yeah. Oh, yes, let's go. Yeah. OK, let's go. For sure. Oh my gosh, look at this wow. place. Are you kidding me? Oh, so cool. This is incredible. Oh my oh, word. Wow. 